Hi, my name is Dave. I'm the keyboardist with the reggae rock band Echo Movement, and I'm going to talk about the classic organ reggae bubble. The boards that I use are a Nord Electro 3 on top, primarily for organs, and a Korg Triton on the bottom, primarily for pianos. On the B3, you want the manual set to 8, 0 across the board, and 3 on top. Normally, I keep this on a slow setting with no vibrato, no chorus, and absolutely no percussion. The primary rhythm for reggae falls in the and beat in the 16th count. So if we're counting off one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a, you're falling on the ands. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. Simple enough. The bubble is created when you add in the 16th before and after that beat. So we're going one e and a two e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. Now you want to make sure that your left hand always stays within a certain register on the board. If it's too high, obviously it loses a lot of its tonal quality. If it's too low, you're just going to get a bunch of mud. So normally you want to find inversions when going to different chords so that you stay within a selected range. Usually I try to keep mine in this setting between maybe like F2 and A3. There are all kinds of variations that you can do with the bubble. My personal preference is to actually keep my right hand out of the out of the organ manual and on a piano. So that creates this kind of a feel. Another variation uses a second manual on your B3. So either split your keyboard or set up another keyboard with the manual 008005 across the top. Essentially what you want to do is come in on the downbeat. So with a regular bubble you have this variation goes move into piano. So in context we're moving in a beat from Mecha Movement, starting off with the right hand skanks. Moving in the bubble.